Hello and welcome to the video. Today we are going to look at the top 5 games that are going to be released in July and August 2020. July and August sets to be exciting months and without further ado, let's go see the list of the top 5 games. Iron Man VR is set to release very soon on the 3rd of July. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the game release has earlier been delayed. The narrative of the game is that Tony Stark has retired from making weapons and instead creates technology used to battle evil as Iron Man. So after several years as a world-famous superhero, Tony is attacked by the mysterious Ghost, a hacker and anti-corporate activist who repurposed old Stark Industries weapons. In an efforts to topple his empire, Ghost attacks Stark's corporate locations around the world, leading to escalating stakes and a final showdown. So players can expect Marvel characters like Pepper Potts, Nick Fury, Friday and a host of other characters. Main draw of the game obviously is to suit up like Iron Man, feel like a very very rich man and enjoy the flying and combat mechanics. A huge environment is actually required to be created to accommodate players flying high speed as Tony Stark. Some interesting environments that we know of are the Shu Helicarrier that Iron Man can fly in and out of, as well as Shanghai City which is supposed to give players the unique sensation of flying through a high density downtown. Trying to let you feel like you are actually Iron Man, you get to personalize your armor. You'll be able to make modifications and upgrade the armor such as swapping in repulsor types, arc reactors, thrusters and include new auxiliary weapons. Ghost of Tsushima tells the tale of Jin, who resolves to do whatever it takes to protect his people and reclaim his home from the Mongols. So the Mongols conquered the Tsushima Islands as they embark along their journey to conquer the East. Uh, Jin is raised and trained in the ways of samurai. In his quest to reclaim Tsushima, he takes out enemies using close katana combat, bows and bombs to get rid of multiple and distant threats, as well as going into stealth mode by blending himself into the beautiful landscape. A lot of effort was spent on getting the right feel for the katana combat. This was emphasized by the co-founder Chris Zimmerman that only by getting the katana moves right can the player be fully immersed in the samurai fantasy experience. As Jin takes on the Mongols, he will learn to evolve new stance and collect new attack techniques. He is forced to incorporate these techniques by learning and closely observing the fighting style of the Mongols. Players can switch the stance at any point in time Choosing the correct stance for the correct enemy will increase its attack damage. The sword fighting in the samurai cinema is a huge draw for everyone. Not to mention the beautiful countrysides and terrains in the game. These are major plus points. In summary, fight, honor, and beauty. Humankind is under attack by an alien life form and Crypto is here to bring down the Earth's government and harvest the DNA of humans. Destroy All Humans 2020 is a remake of Destroy All Humans 2005. The game will be released on the 28th of July. Um, time period of the game is set in 1959 and the player controls Crypto, an alien who arrives on Earth like I say to harvest humans DNA. Crypto is equipped with a vast arsenal of alien weapons such as the zap o and Anal Probe. Ouch. To defeat enemies, which in this case is us humans, he also has superhuman skills such as psychokinetic powers and the ability to disguise himself as human. Crypto uses a jetpack to quickly navigate the environment and also command a flying saucer which is equipped with a death ray. Players can perform movements such as gliding and dashing and they can chain actions together such as shooting enemies while levitating them. The game introduced focus mode, this allows players to lock on to other enemies. Players are also protected by a shoe which also points to the directions of hostile attacks. The game features offers unique challenges for players to complete. The remake holds true to the original game design and retains the voice acting animations. New features are improved visuals, combat, abilities and a different save system.
Wasteland 3 has a lot to live up to. In 2016, its crowdfunding campaign raised more than $3 million and in 2018, the developer Incel was bought by Microsoft, giving the team even more resources to tear up the game. It's good to first point out that prior knowledge of Wasteland series are not required for Wasteland 3. Um, Wasteland 3 is an isometric tactical RPG. Following the events of Wasteland 2, the Desert Rangers were left without a proper base of operations. One day, they received a call from the Patriarch of Colorado Springs asking them to help him stop his nation from falling apart. In return, he promised to supply the Rangers with what they need to rebuild. The Rangers dispatched Team November to make contact with the Patriarch, but things didn't go as planned. You start the game as Team November's sole survivor waking up in a frozen land fully occupied by cults and gangs, um, while not knowing what happened. As the story unfolds, you'll be building your reputation, siding with various factions, exploring the land and making survival decisions. The game leads you to recruit new rangers from the local population and arm up the ranger base, which double up as your quest hub. There is no need to oversee the development of the base, it will change over time based on your actions and decisions. Wasteland Trees introduce multiplayer and you will be able to play through the campaign with a friend in two-player co-op. The campaign will continue even if one player is online, but there will be a small number of set points in the story that needs both players to be online. You also have the option to convert the save to a single player campaign midway. Each player controls their own squad of rangers, both players can explore and take out missions together or go off in different directions with their own squad. If you split up, your actions and consequences can affect the other player even if they're not online. You get vehicles in Wasteland 3 as well, and you can modify vehicles with parts that you find out in the wild. Let's hope Wasteland 3 leads up to the anticipation of the fans. Mafia 3 tells the tale of how Vietnam veteran Lincoln Clay took down a criminal network infesting New Bordeaux. In order to take out Sal Makano who hates the New Bordeaux mob, Lincoln Clay must work his way up the organization ladder a step at a time. All tactics are in play, you lure out the lieutenants and captains who controls the various rackets across the city by damaging their business, killing their men, stealing their money or wiping out their assets. Once they surface, this presents you with the opportunity to take them out for good and to take over their territory. The activities can feel quite repetitive with most of them asking you to drive to a certain location in the open world kill, steal or destroy whatever you find and then move on to the next. The location seems to be the only differentiator and these locations can be hotels, construction yards and warehouses. The activities can really do with more variation to better hold on to our interests as the game develops. There are story missions that send you into more interesting scenarios and these are scripted events that adds more flavour to the game. Let us know what you guys think if you get the chance to play it. Hey guys, please subscribe and add your comments to our channel. Hope you like our top 5 selections. IWI, Institute of Wall Imaginings, will be looking forward to share with you more varieties of gaming content.